I am a soil ecologist at the University of Minnesota. What I'm really interested in is how soil can help us think about how different ecosystems and land management choices are impacted by climate change. These soils are actually from a fertility trial, meaning I love to geek out on the soil because it's just such a perfect thing to study in all these complex issues because it's really dynamic. Soil can help us adapt to climate change because a really well-functioning soil is beautiful. It has this really strong aggregate structure. It has roots in living organisms. I'm working as one of the collaborators at the Spruce Project, which is a big DOE-funded project in a southern boreal peat bog in northern Minnesota. But most of my work has to do with agricultural systems. Agricultural systems are responsible for roughly 25% of emissions globally, 12% of emissions in the U.S. And so can this also help us reduce future climate change? I had a chance in graduate school to start talking to farmers and I was really amazed at how much they wanted to engage with me about climate change. One of the big projects that I have going is a climate adaptation project where we have a typically grown corn and soybean rotation and then we have a newly developed perennial grain crop called Kernza. It's this newly developed perennial grain that it gives us everything that a grassland would give us, deep roots a really rich soil community, well-functioning ecosystem, but we can also harvest it for grain. Actually, just this spring, we started imposing future climates from Minnesota. And the two directions our climate are gonna go are even more wet or like a summer drought that really impacts crop growth. And so we have these big sprinklers that we're, we're putting on an extra couple of inches of rain every two weeks, or we have these big roofs that are getting 40% less rain consistently over the growing season. And we're gonna play a game and see which cropping system wins. I have to talk to the nonprofits who are working on policy change, talking to farmers about like, what's the risk of doing something different for you? How do we work with you? What do you need? That's where the engagement is so important to this work, to see our work translated into the world and to get that knowledge to people who can use it. I think it's incredibly valuable.